also means it's uh, not as not the file isn't as big either. Yep. Thankfully, so. Right. Fuck. 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 Son of a bitch. Fuck. Thank you. Why? Why are you? Why are you derailing the gate? The the video for seven seconds in, James. What a strange thing to do to our algorithm. Just within the first eight seconds. Within the first. Well, it was very much within the first fucking three seconds there. That was a. Uh, <laughs> like as as who wants to be millionaire levels are. You're already fucking <laughs> up there at twenty six thousand. So lovely, lovely. So we're back uh, playing Insurgents, as you can Hello, tell. Folks. Hello, everybody. Hope you all had a lovely time without us. Um, in the meantime, so we left this at a bit of a cliffhanger, there, because yep. we had just done the gym battle, yep. but then we saw some blue-headed freaks, as we like to call them, uh, enter this... Goddamn, uh, goddamn cultists. I tell you, they just you just cannot fucking swing a cat in this area without all the cultists. It really seems to be the way. It just, it's, it's very um, inconsiderate of them, I think, mm. you know, personally. Um, but we know these guys are ready, um, in that it is uh, uh, like, perfection. Uh, perfection. So yes. what, what types does perfection use again, just to remind me? They don't really have a... I, I, don't, I haven't spotted a, a really obvious typing. Okay. What they do is their preferred uh, legendary is Kyrim at the moment. Okay. Um, but they've also been known... Um, I know from previous playthroughs they, know, they use others. Mm -hmm. But at the moment Kyrim is the one that we're, we, we are, we are aware of. Okay. So. So who have we got? Who, who are our friends as we're going into this? At the moment we have uh, Chandelure, also known as Jack. Then yeah. we've got uh, Delton Gudra, the, which, which we did admittedly do just to get the evolution see what it's like. Yeah, and um, if, like, if, if it's going to still be our friend for a while, like uh, mm. happy to have it as a friend, but if if we want to bench him, then yeah. the Eevee that you're absolutely loving. Yes, well, it's 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 very broken, so I, I, I am politicking <laughs> to keep it in the in play. Predator, who, who's our, just our very best friend. He is the best boy. He is the he's the MVP of this uh, playthrough at the minute. Yeah. Um, also not a bad MVP either, to be fair. Not at all. Though life life Warbird Moxie does tend to uh, yeah. bump bump you up the rankings there a little bit. I still have high hopes for him. Oh no, I like him. I mean, um, it's hard to do anything with that typing, but uh, it helps when you're actually are just better grass. Yeah, so. like the the fact that better grass works, but like I've had um, grass rock. Armaldo is grass rock. Uh, Cradley. Cradley is, gra is Grass Rock. Oh, sorry. Uh, Armaldo is Rock Bug. Rock and Bug. Yes. Grass Rock. So, Cradley. Oh, the only time I've used Cradley, I think, is like to be a dick. It was Gen 3, I think it was, yeah. And did it I is. I used that in our uh, Madness. Madness yeah, you did, yeah. It was a Gen 3. It was a, it was a, it was a bollocks. Yeah. But it's uh, meant to be a bollocks. It's, it's yeah. meant to be a defensive bollocks, yeah. uh, which I don't think we can do with Metagross in no, this game. No, no. It's very much the opposite. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> anyway, shall we get started and, sure, and read the plots? Sure, let's go on ahead. Right, let's see what happens. In the hidden workshop, not really hidden, I'll be honest, lads. It's a massive fucking entrance. There we go. Plot happening. Well, look, they, they, in in their defence, they had a guard stationed right outside this. It's drawing attention to the fact that it's a hidden well, workshop. Well, you can play in it when there's a big hole in the front of it. You can play in when they plug the hole with a guard. A password would have been nice. Secret door, or whatever. <laughs> Ooh, nice. One million, uh, one million poker dollars, which is about a thousand quid, because it's gone by yen tradition. Yeah. It's a suit, you say. Oh, it's armor. Lovely. So you remember, like every fucking like generation, we always go, "Oh, this is the generation we're getting the armor Pokemon." Is that all just from, from like Digimon? Does, I like, don't know. Armor Digivolve. Probably yeah, but like it's like what, yeah. what's the natural evolution of like how do we make this more yeah more anime? <laughs> <laughs> make it Gundams. Make it make it make it bigger and make it larger and make it shinier. Yep. But um, so this apparently armor that suits Zekrom. Apparently, I mean, I would have said Glissapod. Yeah, although of course Glissapod wasn't uh, wasn't made at this point. So, True. But, oh, okay, yeah, I can see how he fits in. Yeah, like a onesie. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he inserts himself into the uh, into the armor. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Tane, why don't you tell us all about the plot in this wide open space? Like, really, the amount of legendaries we've seen in this game so far is yeah. like tripping over them. Pretty much, yeah. Like it is a basic game of like, what if every legendary existed in one place at one time? That is one nice thing with these fan games is that if you have the programming skill and a bit of creativity. Yeah, pretty much. And if you have some sort of like common thread, then it, ha it helps. Yeah. This, this is why I like this because it's a nice collection of like a lot of ideas just thrown in. Yeah. And it doesn't seem that kind of over padded. Whereas like I think with other fan games I've played, it does feel like Wait, that. I think Uranium was guilty of that. It was. Um, that, that, I think that game was guilty of being too, too long. Um, I would thought it was more too many cocks. Yes, perhaps, perhaps. Does the other one? Um, was it 
was like ice cream version, sweets version. There was one that was like yeah. everything has a sweets uh, thing. Just oh, like Candyman, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. I think that, that one was another one that kind of seemed like yeah. too many ideas. That was a too, much, too much of once, yeah. Okay. So we remember the first gym leader um, being slagged off because he was talking to a rock and the rock turned out to be Rashiram. Hmm. So, obviously he just happened to be here when oh, Zekrom yeah. was being, uh, who was given his new armor. Yes, of course, Gen, Gen 5, the most pretentious of legendaries. Yeah, it's time and space and sea and land and all that. Truth and ideals. <laughs> At that stage, it um, seemed like such a step down. It does, but... Like it was, yeah. here is the gods of time, space, antimatter, the creator being of everything. <laughs> right, how do we follow that? Um, Truth, ideals, and a cold boy. <laughs> and brrr. <laughs> the cold release of death. Yeah. <laughs> truth, uh, truth, ideals, and the nothingness that and, is and, and the ice age, yeah. <laughs> truth, ideals, and neutrinos, essentially. Is that, is, yeah, tiny, pretty much, yeah. The tiny little offshoot. <laughs> well, consider it was an American game, it was the Democrats, Republicans, and Libertarians. <laughs> I'll let you decide which is which, folks. <laughs> Alright, so. Here we go. I'll be gosh, gosh darned if you're gonna walk, gonna walk over me too. Yes, this is an actual boss battle happening in this wide open area. The wide open area of the hidden workshop. The hidden workshop. It's climatic, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's just as climactic. I, I so in my <laughs> head at this stage, if you look back on like, is it Emerald had the ultimate fight between? Yeah, uh, those were fights of ultimate. Yeah, and like Reshiram came down. Yes, this is about that quality. Is <laughs> But in, in in our heads when we were kids, it was yeah. Breakers are going. Stop it! Oh, he's got a point there. <laughs> I say you red, you blue, stop. Yeah. Shit, he's green. We better listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. So now it's our turn. Let's see if we can do one better than a legendary. Okay, okay starting off with, yeah, we, starting we off with the most dangerous of Pokemon, Grumpig. I do like Hex, but we haven't got that set up right yet. No, we don't. Fortunately, Jack has not learned Shadow Ball yet, but it is doing bits for us. Yeah. That's why it's, ooh, that was, that was a dick move, because we should have had enough, uh, enough to survive there. Uh, to Nexon. Yes. Dark type. Exactly. And a Moxie, free Moxie too. Absolutely. And we had speed, beautiful. And even better, yeah. Woo! Nice. Alright then. Pyroar, okay, yeah, that actually suits in. us. Fine. Stay in, stay in. Earthquake. Yeah. That's a free swing as well. Uh, we're going to take a wallop on the life orb. We are, I fear. Uh, oh. We're going to kill it, but we might kill ourselves at the same time. Mm. Just keep going. It, yeah, it just depends on their speed, really, doesn't it? Alright, let's see. Oh! Looks like it can be a bit of a slow boy. can be. It's in a kind of middling range where, like, yeah. if, you, if you work on your speed, you can get away with it. Yeah. Okay. Right, Nixon's doing bits for us here. And Charizard, right. I set up Sandstorm. Not a bad idea, I'll try it. Although, that 2.5 attack. Hmm. I don't think we just survive an attack and I think he'll outspeed us. I would suspect so. I'll hedge my bets and go for Crunch, just sure. in case. Sure. Oh, he's, okay, he's, mega, he's uh, mega Yeah, golfing. we're definitely dying here. We are, yeah. Well, not necessarily. We absolutely <laughs> Hell. <laughs> oh, Do you know hell. why? Because Charizard X is slower than normal Charizard. Yeah. It's attack oriented. And I hadn't considered like you could have just set up Earthquake. Yeah, him as well. That exactly. Been that would have been super effective too. Thing. Didn't consider the uh, Megas. No. Are we ever going to see them again? Mmm. <laughs> well, considering that we're going, we're taking everyone's fucking name at this stage. I think yeah, that says a lot. But Jesus. Kyogre, right. We're, uh, Kyurem, yeah. So. Oh, Kyurem, Sorry. Right, so now this is the dragon. So this is one we can hopefully clear with an earthquake. Yeah. Possibly slower than Nixon, but we've not nothing to lose here at this uh, stage. Kyrim is really slow, so. Yeah. Nope, he did actually. Okay, that, that's the end of our look then. Yeah, so we ran okay, out of. Okay, who have we got? 
Um, you've got good options, right? So we've got Predator there, we've got the uh, Hammer. I'd say Predator's a good shot here. Yeah, and basically just kick the shit out of it yeah. with the, use the dice type. Absolutely, I'd speed him. Should do. Ooh, not there. Okay, let's try that again. But better. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're okay. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because if I'm right, because if we're following the plot there, yes. Kai, uh, Zekrom, Armored Zekrom should be next. Yes, and mm. we have, well, we still have four left. We do. But I would probably swap out here. I agree. I am because going to... We're, 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 we're low on some of our stats. We are. So... So, I... Uh, Sticky's Water Ground. Yes, so, yeah. good so option. Against, against Zekrom, that's our best, best yeah. bet. Yeah. And there we go. So there's Armored Zekrom in his kind of like nice little knight uh, motif there as well. Yeah. Okay. And seeing that, it's like, okay, yeah, it's a good thing that we've never had armor evolving. Yeah. I agree. I think it's just, it, it, it didn't suit in the end. At least we took a hit now, in fairness. Yeah. At least we took a hit. And he's confused. Good. Lovely. That worked out well. Good job. Yeah. Hmm. Right, I'd say, what's Dwemer's moves? Uh, we've got Seed Bomb, Diamond Storm, and a couple of others. I can remember. Double Edge and Leech Seed. I'd say he's probably the be like the strongest bet that we have to, yeah. uh, to move forward with next. Yeah, because I want to keep Predator um, for the end in case we're able to Ice Shard him. Yeah. So, so uh, Diamond Storm, or do you want to Leech Seed him? Mm. Let's Leech Seed. Oh, a son hit. of a bitch. But that's that takes a deep that has a debuff anyway. Now, he so does have um that armor evolved doesn't give him a new typing, does it? No. It this so. it just it's literally just like a defense boost, essentially. Okay, grand. So So Moonblast. Yeah, that's the plan. In case he goes through another Draco Meteor. Yeah. So hopefully Eevee might actually do the bits for us here. Let's see. Herself. Even better. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, there we go. Job done. Have some of that, you bastard. Oh, poor Sticky. Oh, well, here, Sticky didn't embarrass himself. Did he? I think actually Sticky might have saved the day for us there by taking yeah. that hit. So, because uh, otherwise that would have been a very different battle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's the armor that was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely the armor's fault. It wasn't you being really shit at this. Of course. Okay, Dragon. Now, I would say the next time we get a game with uh, Zekrom, Reshiram, mm. and Kyrim in yeah. it, I'd nearly think that would hopefully be a uh, Legends I'd say a Legends, Legends game, Nova, yeah. And we get to see the original Dragon. That would be nice, yeah. Well, actually, that's just um, what uh, Tane was implying there, that like he's taken Reshiram, yeah. And he's got Zekram and Kyrum, and basically he's telling Orion he and get. tangentially us to go to Selene City and the Dragon yep. Ruins. Yep. So that's the next step. So yeah, it seems like he there they're looking to do the uh, ultimate, dra the original Dragon. It seemed like a thing that's been teased. Yeah, but like but never paid off. It is, and the trouble is that I think no matter what design you go for, it's going to disappoint because people will probably think of a Hydra or they'll think of something that is essentially a combination of them all. Yeah. And I think you just have to look at white and black Kyra and about how look they they look unnatural compared they both to look unfinished. Yeah. Which is fair enough. Which I suppose I think that's where they were what they were going for. Yeah. But for me at least it looks like it was a design done retroactively and the separated ones look better separated as opposed oh, yeah. to yeah, like the, two the, out of three. The Kyrim looks better than mm. any of the others. Sekrom looks better than... Yeah. Yeah, no, I get you. Um, so I don't know if, I, if, if I'd ever, like, kind of say outright that uh, I want to see the original dragon. Unless it is objectively, like, you can see all three dragons in that design. That's the that's the difference. So, like, I'd say probably look at... Um, you, you, you can look at... What am I trying to say here? Um, look how... Um, Legends did it for the creation trio. Yeah, no, so uh, I don't if, mind that. If you know, and you look at the origin, was it the origin forms they were called? Or yes, what's, uh, origin forms. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, origin. Uh, I've lost okay. lost your names. Origin Palkia. Uh, origin, and Dialga. Yeah. Origin Dal Ooh, Dialga. Hello, we have a new Twitter here. Ooh, okay, but uh, when you combine them, the three of them together, you get Arceus. Mm. 
Like if you put the silhouette on the silhouette on the silhouette. Yes. That's Arceus. Yeah. So which is it could which... be it could be something similar that the original dragon is something that is different to each. Mm. But when you break it down, it's going to break down into the three copies of parts. Yeah, I can see that actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, we have a few options here. So, Iron Head uh -huh. is something we can teach a few. Uh, Meteor Mash on our uh, Metagross. I checked, Metagross. but he's not able to. Oh, that is like the one move. He is that. Yeah, but then of course he's the Delta in form. So yeah, that's yeah. Uh, let's see what else we can get. So we got Zap Cannon, which is not great. Um, Electro Ball. We don't really have any massive speedy boys I can use. So Iron Head is an option. Um, choice between Predator or Dwemer. Like it's a good physical attack. Mm. Dwemer has good. I wouldn't give it to Predator. I think we're good with Predator's moves at the minute. Yeah, I agree. So. And if I'm right, Predator's ability is Technician. Uh, no, I think it's something else. I think it's something nice. Uh, Hailstorm or Hail oriented. Oh, okay. Right. So. We have a choice here. So we got Seed Bomb, Diamond Storm, Double Edge, or Leech Seeds. What would we get rid of for Iron Head? Uh, since we don't really play the setup game, mm. Leech Seed would probably be the best one for them. Okay. But I'm also not a big fan of Double Edge. Well, do you know what? I'll keep Leech Seed anyway in case you do need to set up certain things. Mm. Um, especially there will be battles where we can't just brute force it. So I think yeah. giving ourselves options like that is good. Um, actually, some. Now that you've asked me the question, there we go. Where is where is ability again? Ice cleats. There we go. So his speed is doubled okay. in hail in hail conditions. So that's what it is. All right. Also, um, if we had a Rotom, we could uh, turn it into Rotom Fire or Ice. Or anything whatever. we wanted here. Yeah. So all Love all of them are here, as you can see. So let's talk to herself. Good. What does armor do? <laughs> Well, that's what you expect it to do. A tiny bit makes more resilient to attacks. There you go. It's as simple as that. Grand. Uh, can we buy armor from her? We can. This oh. one. So she only has three at the moment. I believe she adds more over the game. But at the moment, we've got Tyranitar, Levani, and Flygon. Okay. All three we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now, will that work for Delta forms as well? So if we get yes. Delta Tyranitar? Uh, yes, in theory we would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Levani is one that I wish was better. Yeah, I know. Of course, we can't help with that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's that's all the business done now in this uh, gym, mm -hmm. in this area. As you can see, it's all gone back. Well, relatively gone back to to where it was. It still, a, still a few um, new lakes where uh, <laughs> there were children, but otherwise, you know, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's go. Yeah. Let's have a look at our loadout then before we go again. Yeah. Uh, we haven't gone into our base in a while. We haven't, but then we don't have much use for it. Um, well, like, is there is there any more building that we can do to it? We can for sure. Um, but uh, we have to. So that kind of costs money, and uh, mm. we don't need we don't need anything resource wise. Basically, we can just like just okay to discover. But we can do we have to buy decorations for it and stuff like that, which we can. Okay, um, well, let's take a look again at who our who our yeah. best friends are at the minute. So uh, let's see. Do we want right, to get? If we were to say, let Sticky sit, sit on the bench. Okay, so we're benching. As, as happy as I was with Sticky, and I'm happy to bring him back on. Mm. Um. So if we're still going for water types, we have a, set, a few options. Um, we have Delta Haxorus. We've got um a few. Uh, I think Yanifer is a uh, to sit on the bench on. For alligator with for alligator, and we have uh, Delta Superior as well, if you want it. Um. There are other water types in other boxes as well, if you want them. But yeah, so if you want to, if we're looking for water types, we've got op we got options to replace because we already have crocodile for our ground. Yeah. And dark, so they're covered. But let's see what we, let's. We, we, we have our grass, so we have grass covered. We have grass and rock covered. We've got ice and fighting, ground and dark. Like Eevee kind of takes most boxes. We've got a ghost and fire type if we're keeping Chandelure. Um. Chandelure hasn't embarrassed itself yet. No. Um, it is a bit under level, but we can obviously work on that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got options basically. Uh, Buccaneer for the time being. Okay. Uh, but like, uh, look, I've enjoyed having Buccaneer mm. on the team. We'll bench Eevee for a while then, at least, and then give someone else a go. Sure. Yeah. I don't think we need him. I think we only need need Mega Eevee until in uh, in war times. Okay. Like, <laughs> otherwise, I think we're good because he can catch up on the levels, no yeah. problem. 
So, okay, well, who do we want to give a bit more time in the spotlight to? At the moment, actually, there's an opening for this boy because that's a that's a pretty much balanced team outside of fairy types and dragons. So you got ghost fire, ice fighting, grass rock, ground dark, water steel, and psychic flying. Sure. That that covers most bases, if not all. Now we had obviously we can't have every type cover whatsoever, but yeah. that's that's fairly well balanced, you know. It's not working. There we go. It's been a while since I played this game. Never pressing any massive tons of buttons. Where do we leave this guy anyway? Um, Forty four. Try the scarf, always good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Keen yeah, not uh, pretty. That's a pretty weak ability, but much like. Uh, traditional blazer can yeah you can also mega evolve if we find a stone what's he got now he's got moves aren't great i'll be honest rock gem aerial ace confusion or and if only there was some guy that we just walked away from who had a uh, moves that could be uh -huh. well then let's have a look and see there you go what's this let's see if uh I don't know if there's anything significant he can try. I'll try Meteor Match, actually, because it seems like it might learn. Yeah. No. Worth a shot. Uh, anything else? Just to see. Hmm. Iron uh, Head, maybe? I can't see him learning anything else there. No. Oh, well. No. no. Well, now, mm, Buccaneer can learn Ice Head. Or, or Iron Head, rather. That might help That's us yeah, along. Yeah. If he doesn't have a natural Steel-type move. I think he has Metal Claw at the minute. Which is better? He actually doesn't. There you go now. Okay, right. so what's his ability again? Is it like crunching moves are better because? Yes. That's like we that's why we, we have don't want to get rid of Ice Fang or Crunch at that rate. And we can't really get rid of Aqua Jets in a good con in a, with with a clear those, conscience. Those moves do work well for him. Mm. Those moves do work well. I don't know if I'm happy to get rid of anything. For, I uh, for the sake of would Ironhead. suggest Sword Dance, sorry, mainly because then we got the stab bonus for for Iron Head. Fair, okay. Mm. Just okay. at least then with crunch, like that's gonna do massive damage with the with with the strong jaw ability and ice fang, like will always help out in the pinch. Yeah. Now we do already have ice well and truly covered with scissor, so we can yeah. afford to lose ice fang possibly. But again, you're getting whatever bonus you're 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 getting then for for the ability. So I'd say either okay, sword stance or sword stance, go, yeah. Go for sword stance. Okay. Um. So, oi. now. Right, so let's actually while we're here, let's look into some TMs. But we haven't done, we haven't dabbled in our TMs yet for a while. So, is there anything I'm kinda of looking here we go, fly. Straight away. Can Blazer can learn fly. Can. Like just think of it like an also awful sigilith. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Well I'm hoping this would be a better sigilith, but I'm not holding out hope, I'll be honest. Um I've never liked Sigilith. Mm, no. It is a prick to battle against and it's useless. As a teammate. Yeah, because like it's almost like you can never get the benefit out of it. Yeah. Yeah, kind of learn. Let's see what I can just learn anything else. Ooh, got dragon move there. Tickety bam. That's a that's a nice bonus. Um, what does heart stamp between heart stamp and confusion? Uh, that's a uh, sixty plus a flinch or confusion, which is fifty. So that's physical sixty with a potential flinch or confusion. It is H Horus. Uh, Special or physical attack? It'd be the same as Blaziken, so I think the both physical and special are kind of the same same point. Mm. So I don't see the point in having both available. Yeah, so let's let's ditch with confusion then in that case. Because sure. just it's just literally just go by the weakest move. Sure. Great, that's Dragon Pulse. Uh Thunderbolt, I highly doubt. Well the Dwemer can learn Thunderbolt. But Metagross famously is a yep. physical attacker, so that's not really ideal. Aerial Ace? Uh, he did have Aerial Ace. We just, we just removed oh, it, actually, yeah. That's, ooh, no. That's not another option. Dazzling Gleam. Right. Horus actually uh, starting to look a bit more versatile because that actually ticks all of our boxes then uh, move-wise. Okay. So... Power mm, Gem? Yeah, I'm happy because Power Gem doesn't do much. Like, and we have rock covered elsewhere. Yeah. So that is actually changed the most balanced team we have. Um, pretty much. You can learn Silverwind, but I think Silverwind's not as good a move than, as Dazzling Gleam would be. So. 
Right, that's that's a surprisingly decent team now. Right, so let's see. So overall, now our next uh, point of class is to go to the Dragon Runes. Yes, let's see where we're we're going to next. So okay. I haven't seen this map in a while. Yeah, so this is us. We're at Kepler City uh -huh. on the opposite side of the map here. So Route Eleven is the next protocol. So again, now where did we where have we start? How much of this map have we covered? We started all the way here, I think, Town or Town. Yeah. So all the way so there. Uh, no, we kind of stopped. Narrow Town we haven't done. Narrow Town okay. is kind of like the Blackthorn City, as okay. it were. So instead of going up, we went down. So, and uh, we end up being here, Vipic City. But we haven't gone east of Vipic yet to yeah. that little island off the side. Yeah, so we did. So we started some such city, then Mechi, then Vipic. We haven't done this here, the Misty Island. Is uh, there anything blocking us from doing the Misty Island? Uh, I think Rock Climb. It's a post game area. I'm oh, afraid. okay, okay. Yeah. Coral Town. Yeah. Then we have the desert area. Yeah. Uh, then we have Rogan Town, which was a satellite to Helios. Yep. And then again, we had a few blocks here for HMs and that, which we didn't have. Cave of Steam then brought us down to Utira, which is all the, where all the plot happens. Uh -huh. Then we had the Wor the Stormy and Whirl Islands, which is where also all the plot happens. So now tracks where you can race your Pokemon. We were just here, actually, in the last episode. Then we went to Maelstrom 9, which was where they had the boss battle with Abyssal Cult, mm -hmm. and they were in Kepper City. So that's where we're at. Okay, so and our next stop, if we're continuing along this road... It's going to be Nazca, Nazca Town, Town, where this is a Safari Zone. Oh, fun. Mm, yes, which means we might be able to catch a rake load of uh, eggs. Taurus. Oh. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so, Merc Forest is then after that, then Hikate Town, which is where the Fiery Caverns are, and then Saline City. So that's our next plot plot uh, town to go to. Okay. Because then the Dragon Runes are right there. I think, as far as I know, I think anything that has the kind of oblong ones are where gyms are, I think. There's one exception to that rule, which I think is that one there, Amphorite City. I know there's a gym in there. Okay. And, yeah. So, right. So let's move on then. Yeah. Adventure. Another okay. episode. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that fucking bug trainer so we can have that Metapod battle again? <laughs> the state of our Blaziken, by the way. <laughs> Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> oh, no. Now. Oh. We're already into a battle. Ish. Anyone who says they're a prodigy isn't a prodigy. Yeah. In fair, I, I do laugh when you get, like, po uh, uh, trainers like that, and they're on, like, Route 1. It's like, um, clearly not, because you're still fucking here. You know? Yeah. Right. Calculate a risk here, hoping he doesn't use a fairy move. There we go. Calculate a risk, pulled off. Ish. Uh, Milk and We'll fix that in post. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> it, 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 did I see it? I didn't see it. Did you see it? No. I didn't see. I didn't see anything. Didn't see anything, Chief. Nothing to see here. Um, yeah, keep him in. Patrice's one that I'm surprised wasn't retconned into being fairy. <laughs> yeah, but then sure, the den was a fairy as well. Then so yeah. I suppose kind of say Patrice with the shame of being becoming a fairy, uh, reprehensibly. Uh, that was another Pokemon. I thought Milk Tank would have been would have gone fairy. Because again, like I'm going by the colour convention more than anything else. Yeah. I think there was a risk that um any so much of the normal types mm. would have been retconned. Like there would have probably been a risk of too many yeah, that's it. water types be retconned into being fairy types. Like yeah, Gor Jigglypuff from Clefairy Gorbis and would have been and, yeah. uh, Gorbis would have been one of my picks there. Yeah, because Gorbis and Huntail are very similar to each other. Which is why I think like it makes sense that the Delta versions here are Dragon and Fairy. Yeah. Because then that's what people would have assumed, looking at, even looking at the design. Okay, so now we're... Um, obviously we couldn't do this route beforehand without uh, having the diving equipment, so... What's Pokemon like around here? Ooh, Tropius, hello you. You. <laughs> It is, it is one of my favourite designs, even though it is a particularly weak Pokemon. I thought you were going to try to catch it. Yeah, I'm thinking XP. Sure. Yeah. Friends up? Yeah, because otherwise I don't want to be... With a Safari Zone coming up, I'm thinking that might be your chance to go on a big egg, egg hunt. So. Okay, Grant. Oh, Giovanni. No, I'm a Giovanni cosplayer. It's completely different. <laughs> I'm not Giovanni. I am a... He's an Aryan. Vet. I'm an Aryan. 
That's come so much better in the Pokemon universe. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> so Boros are foolish for me. Hmm. Yeah, sloppy eyes. Flinch? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Taking a risk? Open for a normal type move? Hey, he's not one of the ones. Oh. Okay, that, that actually worked out. Better. I was actually afraid there when I when I. That he's gonna have dark move or something. Yeah, that's what I was worried. That I was afraid of. Yeah. Is Sangus one of those that has the ability to hit more hit ghost types? Um. Like, uh, Kangaskhan had before Mega Volvin. Ooh. Scrap. That's it. I'd say so, actually. Yeah, I'd say he does. It seems like he'd be a prick like that. Yeah, I agree. I think he does. He certainly would have foresight anyway, and that would uh, that would do the job either way. Yeah. Like, I, I have no shame in admitting that it took me years to figure out what that fucking move was. Genuine years. It's like, what is this? It looks it's terrible. Why do you keep asking me to learn it? It's a magnifying glass. It's a magnifying glass. It's yeah. It's a magnifying glass. <laughs> it's like, fuck off! Uh, Mind Reader was another one as well that I couldn't get my head around. I think it was Kinesis for me. Or, or yeah. Was... But that move never went anywhere. It just, yeah. it, that was dropped out of Gen 1. I was like, Kinesis and Haze was one that, as a kid, I Haze, couldn't, yeah. couldn't get what... What it meant. What was it? What was? What was it there for? And why does Gallback keep using it? Because like, I guess your steamrolling fucking Agatha was the one that was kept using it. Yeah. I was like, all stat changes were eliminated. And it, it's that. That's the kind of thing that would be helpful if it you knew like, what stats were. <laughs> but also, if it was like your stat changes were eliminated, your attack fell. Yeah. Your attack fell. Yeah. Or when you have like the the way this game does it, it's very helpful and um, graphics coming up. Look, you're talking like a uh, original game, mm. so. Oh yeah, but that's the same. But you can see the, the design, the idea in mind though is it's like it's nice for people to keep track of the perks that they have. Oh, yeah. As you can see there, like that's. And fairness, the real game has done a good job with that in having. In recent years, yeah. In recent years, so like since uh, look, we say in, in recent years, um, it's, it was in the Sun and Moon. Yes. That was 2016. Yeah, but that's so it. That was still we're, we're, seven, just, so. just to date this video. That was seven years ago. Yes. Uh, that that you were able to get like keep track of your stats like that. Mm, exactly. Of course, I fucking missed. Of course. Of course, I missed. Of course, I missed. Like, a... <laughs> there you go. Nice. Take that, Hans. So first the Aryan and now Hans. Yeah, to <laughs> gone for a bit of a theme for this route. Uh, I like it. Yeah. No, let's see. Oh no. So if we have a few minutes of like uh, hunting and doing the odd mm. thoughtless battle, um, yeah, there's a chance for us to chat. Yeah. So since the last time we got playing, to uh, previously on Pokemon Insurgents. So and again, just to keep just to keep dating ourselves here. Um, have you got watching the trailer for the DLC? Uh, I haven't watched the actual trailer, but I am. I know of the details. I know. I know what to expect. So I'm very excited. I have. Very excited. I have went to get it already. Yeah, I know. Same. I have an order too. Um, yeah. Although when it comes, it's just like end of year is like the, the big. That's what they say. Yeah, like, but I'd say yeah. I think one this year and one next year. I think is what they. I thought first. it was one towards the end of the year and the other at the end of the year. Like one. Was, oh. One was fall and one was winter. Oh, I had in my head there was like one for. Um, this year and one for 2024, but I'm, I'm probably yeah, wrong. That would give the developers time to rest. Did, oh yeah, good point, yeah. I forgot Nintendo hated their people. Yeah, carry on. <laughs> 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 no, you must publish four games in six months. We can't! It's like, well, you must. The people demand it. Well, can we at least just put one of the games up in the eShop? One of the old games, just put ROM up? No. <laughs> no, you cannot. <laughs> that requires effort. No, it requires no effort. That's... <laughs> okay, we're in. We're already in NASCAR. Oh NASCAR damn! Town. That that took no time at all. We're in NASCAR town. Um. <laughs> so. No friends are very shite either. <laughs> Love it. I was surprised they gave us the paradox uh, forms that they just suddenly they, yeah they hinted at them at the end of the main game. Mm. And like I was fully convinced that was going to be DLC was going to be. Like it was going to be part central of the around DLC it. Yeah. Campaign was and it was like, nah, just just go, just go battle it. Mad, isn't it? Like if it, it makes me feel like there's like like that would have led me to assume that there was more to come, but I don't think there is, as far as I know. But like, because then like you'd want to you'd have like designs already kind of like in the coding for yeah. Entei and Raikou. Now there could be, and I could be very fucking wrong. 
I'd love to see them, I'll be honest, because I do like the Suicune, in particular the Suicune design is fantastic. I had thought that, that of the book of what it had shown, I thought the Suicune was going to be, I didn't know the <coughs> Paradox Suicune was yeah. going to be an amalgamation of the three. I was expecting that kind of chimera of the tree, yeah. Yeah, and yet it was just, like... It was, it was more of a it raptor, was, it yeah. It was heavily, like, Suicune but a Velociraptor. Yeah. Which is like which I like the idea of. So that means then like you could see you could imagine designs then for Ooh. Did you see that? Yeah. It's a blink. I don't know if that's a graphic glitch or not. No, that's a pl part of the plot. But damn it, so you're right. You, How did you, you know? You've blacked out. <laughs> damn fan. Good boy. Best boy. And oh. again I like the uh, Another one of the um, heroes. Yes. Oliver, sorry. Yes. Which we don't talk about anymore. <laughs> he who shall not be named. Right, let's see what else we got left. Okay, that's definitely the plot then. That was a very obvious blink there. Oh, hello. Do me a favor. Lost another one is out near one of the rocks. Oh. Can I get one of these? Oh, chances are that is going to be the, the choice. <laughs> that would be cool. Ooh, oh. Molloite. There's birds. Fortunately, we did, we already have Delta Mawalite, uh, so... Is that a dive spot there? Okay, let's take a look. Alright. Okay. We're likened. There we go. I, I, I'm so used to normal blazing, I was going to go, yeah, I'm just going to kick the shit out of it. Wait, I can't. Shit. <laughs> it's like, fuck. I... Okay. Might be saying a proper sin with this. Yes. Yeah. I don't think Relicant should have existed. <laughs> I agree, it should have gone extinct, you're right. No, but like, Hoenn had some great ones. Hoenn had some shite ones. Hello. But Hoenn also had some very forgettable ones. Don't fuck up with Shuckle. No, I agree with you, yeah. Um, um, I think it was one of those ones where it was that Hoenn was in that kind of era of Dex fillers. Yeah. Where nowadays they they've recognised that um, that filler isn't a good thing. It isn't anymore, no. Especially now when you have to like manage so much, and you know there's gonna be like just so many fucking people looking for certain Pokemon, whatever it is. Yeah. Like it's very, I can't imagine that there was a lot of people there looking for like Clamp Pearl, for example. Now, yeah, that being said, at least you have a Pokemon that is like if you wanted to get a certain like um, area in your game. There's get there's there, there's a reason to put in a clamp pearl as opposed to a competitive reason, you know. But it depends on which way you're making your game, yeah. you know. 